Hey guys, it's Ivan here with another tutorial. Since um, some people commented on my last uh, video claiming that they don't know how to uh, make a gate mechanism, uh, I figured I'd make a tutorial on one right now, just showing you guys the basics and how you can improve your gate mechanism modeling. So first off, I'm just gonna start off with the box, which is gonna be the you know main part of the gate mechanism. I'm gonna be going after our safe train gate mechanism. You can go after other parts of the game uh, uh, for other gate mechanisms like Wabco or something like that. But for now, I'm going to be going after Safe Tran. Um, I'm not really too worried about this make making this life size, but it's it's we're going to be around this size. I mean, it's randomized. So the thing is, you know, now it looks like a block. It doesn't really look too realistic. There's like not much detail to it. Like you know, like you need rounded edges and all that stuff. Um, so. What you want to do in case you have this problem right here, you want to uh, grab a cylinder. Uh, grab the cylinder and go into the side view like this and then scale it down. Just make sure it's like this, uh, at least aligned for the game. It doesn't have to be perfect, but somehow people manage to make it perfect. So then you want to scale it down like to the like right size. For an, I don't even know if, if it's uh, the curves are like that small on a safe train game mode because I'm using no reference. so. You want you want to line it up like this, as you can see. It's, it's kind of it looks better, but there's some clipping, so you might want to measure like adjust that a little bit. Like I said, it might not be perfect because the there we go. Oh, that that's uh, that's better. You want to like, like I said my moving is not that good. So next, you want to copy this thing and. Uh, actually duplicate this and put it to the bottom too. This is going to be the main hull of the game mechanism. Um, so basically this will actually just make the mecha mechanism more rounder and make it uh, more realistic. And it won't be that blocky. So yeah, head down, do that, and then just copy. Actually, let's just copy both of them. That should be a lot easier. And then scale it down like that. Well, not scale it down, sorry. Move it down like that. And just make sure to adjust it properly like this. And there you go. That's um, the thing. Um, now you just want to have a exact uh, thing like this. Uh, make sure it's lined up and scale it. So now what we're going to do at least halfway of the circle like this. You... Uh, at least halfway like that and then the, um, you extend it outward and you see how, how much better it's actually looking now because it's rounded edges and all that stuff uh, the counterweight arms are the most difficult part of the gate mechanism but I will be looking over that really soon I don't even know why I'm pronouncing the gate mechanism wrong it's a complicated word I guess but anyways um, so basically now we have this this is gonna be the thing you can do whatever you want with it. Just make sure you union it. I guess I'm. I'm gonna be union it. I can, you can either group it as a model, folder, or union. I'm just gonna union this. You can also negate this or separate it. Um, so let's just copy this right here. This is gonna be the second, and you can scale that like that, and uh, move it downward. Uh, there we go. Make it a little bit big because you can, like you know, safe train game magazines have like the little thing and stuff so like that hit shift you can you, to hit shift you can just like scale it like that but from each side I'm just gonna do this scale it a little bit so it's like looks like it looks like the door looks like a door a little bit that's what I'm doing and pretty much um, the next thing you want to do is uh, create the back box for the stage on game mechanism I am not sure how Actually, I, I'm pretty sure there's an easy, easy way to do this. So, like, do this, uh, copy the copy the object. Um, the lighting's not good, so I'm just going to rotate the object so you guys can see better. There we go. It's at an angle. Hang on. There we go. And now we have the back for the gate mechanism, as you can see. But this is going to be the extension of the safe train gate mechanism like you see those like the covers and all that stuff so you want to shrink it down make it the appropriate size like the safe train gate mechanism you know like that and um you're gonna notice that this is like this is this is not good 
because like you know it's not at an angle i maybe you guys could like try to like like try to do something like this i'm not sure if that's gonna work or not but just like have it slightly at an angle and um this is what i'm gonna do if you guys want to like follow along i'm gonna just uh, do this and scale down to make it look like a game mechanism and do this and do the same thing but just rotate it upwards i hope this works it's gonna look a little bit funky but it'll be better you guys can also like you know it, it, it doesn't look too good right now you just need to adjust it or make it lower yeah that that does not look good um so yeah you see this this is already clipping out so you just just want to delete that that's already mm, hang on yeah you might want to like adjust it a little bit like that so it looks something like this and then you just want to paste in the object like this it's just um it's just basically technique you can just like redo the technique and all that stuff it's gonna look a lot better so like that that's pretty much how you make the box for the gate mechanism it's just basically just cylinders and all that stuff and if you want to make it look a lot better wait hang on let me just uh scale this up so it, it, it won't match exactly like perfectly it won't be like pristine so like that somewhere like that oh well, now we have the back cover of the game mechanism this is uh that's pretty much it yeah but um now the counterweights the counterweights are the most difficult part but i'm going to be using uh i mean the thing is you, you need cylinders and all that stuff and um all that you know um, I'm also gonna be doing. Um, I'm also gonna be showing you how you guys can make the gate mechanism a lot more realistic on the back. If you guys don't want a back flat, the back flat, uh, the cover flat, um, you can actually just grab a cylinder, scale it down, make sure it's the appropriate size, and just move it into the object like this, like it's halfway out. Like I said, I'm not too good with cylinders, so don't expect much expertise out of me because I'm I've never worked with cylinder of. Uh, why did they say this is a sphere? Um, anyways, so I just scale it up to the proper size, like this, uh, and um, I think that should that's that, that, that's good enough. But it's not perfect because, like I said, I don't work really well with spheres. But that's that's the closest I can get. So what you need is another cylinder. What I'm just gonna do is just, I'm gonna take this block, copy and paste it. And um, let's see. Um, go to the model tab and click separate. Apply scale. And there you go. You have all your cylinders here. I'm just, I only need one. And so we're going to rotate this 90 degrees, I think. Yeah, 90 degrees. And make sure it's aligned with the sphere so it looks really realistic and all that stuff. Well, that, that doesn't too, look too realistic, I guess. <laughs> um, it, just scale it up. Make sure it's perfect. That That's good enough. But like, like I said, I'm not good at sil I'm, I'm not. Why do I keep on saying cylinders? Okay, that that's good enough for me. So just extend this all the way down, th this little thing. I don't know, thingy-majig. Uh, there you go. Now you have the copy the cylinder. Control C, Control V. Down here, and pretty much just copy and paste it. Put it on the other side like that. Nope. Uh, come on. Um. There we go. Now we have the other side for the gate mechanism box. It's not inward hang on like that that looks good enough I'm not really gonna perfect it that much because I'm not really a perfectionist I mean sometimes I am but not really at this uh, rate because I haven't used studio in a long time um, and so just make sure it's properly like at least halfway so that's like the halfway mark, and you make sure you just 
put it down. It might look a little bit ugly, but that's what Studio is. Um, I mean, you guys can try to perfect it as much as possible, put the scale in, all that stuff, but I won't. <laughs> um, so basically, yeah, you just you got that. And now you just mm, do this. You move this downward into the other cylinders. Make sure it's half. So that's right about it. So you just grab another one like this and uh, make sure that it's properly like, you know, adjusted and all that stuff. So now it should be looking a little bit better. But you can scale it, adjust it. I'm gonna scale it personally. So you grab your rounded part out. It's not gonna look the best. Mine certainly doesn't look the best. And you want to like, like try to align it with the cylinder and all that stuff. This is the best I could do. So that's basically the back box of the gate mechanism, all that stuff. Um, you can create the inward ring over here. You can add extra detail, but I'm certainly not going to be going into that stuff. Um, maybe I will. I don't know. Um, so the next thing you want to do is make the counterweight arm. I, I don't think I have a reference, so I might use something. The reference I might have Google, so Google the counterweight arms are pretty much that they're like they're like really. I'm gonna go with the pedestrian style first, then I'm gonna go with the very complicated style. The pedestrian style is like really, really, really easy. So the first thing you want to do is just like you know grab a cylinder, do this, make it. Also, I forgot to mention, just weld your items together, weld them together, like you know welds all that stuff. Go to model constraint details, all that stuff can you know create the weld so I'm gonna create the weld or like I said you can just union it I'm just gonna union this not not the cover the, the this is separate but like the cover you can just union the cover it's not a big deal and then you can just weld the cover to the thing boom you have less welds to worry about and um, now yeah like I said I'm making the counterweight arm now um, so now we have the block right here which is gonna be the lower part of the counterweight arm um, you can use, cylinders are really useful in this case because they provide a lot more detail to the model and they make it more uh, realistic as well as spheres like I showed you a couple minutes ago with the gate mechanism so basically just do this yeah the curves are the most difficult part in my opinion the curves for the gate mechanism arm some, pe some people just do this they just copy and paste it and uh, scale it oops let me see this, yeah, go down. In this case, if you guys don't want to do this, you can just do this. And I mean, that doesn't look too good, doesn't it? So I'm going to show you how to round it out. Do the same thing, copy, copy and paste the cylinder right here below. Like that. And there you go. You just copy and there you go. That looks, that looks way more realistic that arm except for this part this part is a it's really complicated um i don't necessarily know how you can but i do have like an easy shortcut if you guys want to really make this realistic so the thing is just take the another thing make it like make it like about like the size of a square and grab your i think you can yeah grab your thing and uh just do this. This is an easy shortcut and without going the complicated way. Um, so basically like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure that both sides are aligned. Aligned. So like this. And that's gonna be the side. That's gonna it's gonna be like a curve to make it more realistic and all that stuff. So adjust it. Make sure it's like that. And now you wanna. Uh, make this um, object a negate uh, property and go to model tab select this and then next you want to click union oops no select both of them sorry click union and there you go you'll have your very easy curve you can just adjust it and whatever you can just do whatever you want that's uh, I'm personally not going to do anything that much 
and you can adjust that you can do whatever you want and you have your realistic curve now so that looks a lot better um, now with the weird style the extension I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that so now I just do this just just just, just do a counterweight or an extension um, you guys already know how to negate in union so you can just do you can just negate a hole right here I'm not sure if that's how long it is. Next, you want to like copy and paste this. Make sure this is aligned with the cylinder so it looks really, really good. Like this. Like I'm not, I'm not really sure how a safe giant gate mechanism looks like because I haven't been around one for like a couple months. But just make sure you al align this. Uh, come on. Yeah, well, it's, and sometimes your model's gonna end up looking like this. I, I can already tell mine's not that accurate. Yeah, that curve, it's like, yeah, I think I need a more, more, much more steeper curve. Let me see if I can find a photo. Yeah, curve's a lot more steep. So some, something like this, actually. So just move it around, do whatever you want. Make sure it's, this, it's in the middle, like here. See what I'm doing? This is a little bit of a clip but I don't really mind because you can just you, you can just negate it and flatten it out. I'll show you guys how to do that in uh, a moment after I make this. Next, you want to scale this down. And voila, you have your really perfect counterweight arm. You can try to do the same thing with this. Just put it here and make the curve at like a different angle. So now that you've got your counterweight arm, it's looking all weird because it's like not union properly. What I usually do is I just like, you know, I, I union the whole counterweight arm first by clicking union and selecting this, the brick I mean, and creating another, like two sides to it. So it looks really, really like pristine and all that stuff, you know. So just have it like clip in a little bit inward and then on the other side clip it inward too. This might be like, the counterweight may look small, so click negate it negate for this one and negate these will cut out the object and then select all of my hitting shift and selecting all and then click union and now you can scale the counterweight arm you can do whatever you want oh in that case if this happens to you just like reunion it i'm just gonna do this move the move it downward and then reunion it and voila you got your counterweight arm so just basically just duplicate it, put it on two sides. I'm gonna do this right now. And it's kind of, is it at an angle? I'm not even sure, my eyes must be messing with me. So you have the gate mechanism here. Oh, I just selected the spawn point at, there you go. Now you've got your gate mechanism. It might be looking weird like mine is currently. So just scale it, adjust it, and do whatever you want. So now you've got a gate mechanism. And um, if you want uh, this to be functional, just make sure to set this as non-collision. So you go down to this properties and you set can collide. Uh, if you, you can leave can't touch if you want, but I won't. Because there, there'll be, there will be a cylinder going through it. So... This is the part that will be in the center of the gate mechanism. This will be like the, you know, thing. I'm just gonna make this, I don't really care about the size. It doesn't really matter since it's not gonna be seen. So grab this, weld it to the counterweight arm. Don't weld it to the, do not weld it to this or this, then it will not work. And basically you've got it now. This is, um, can't touch, can collide. That's all oh, oh, that's on. It doesn't really matter for this. You can set it to off. I'm going to be doing that too. And well, pretty much now you've got your gate mechanism. And thank you guys so much for watching. And um, go check out my like tutorial on how to make um, the gate mechanism functional. See ya.